Okay, I'm gonna go live. Hello. What is up? Oh boy. So back at it again, huh? This is the wrong. Back at it again. That one. That's the one that I want. Big game. Uh, huge games. Huge games. Possibly the last, the last episode. M maybe we'll see. This is gonna be hours thirteen and fourteen, and the average time to beat is around eleven to twelve hours. So we're already going a little bit further. That's interesting. Than some people. We did do a little bit of extra backtracking and maybe an extra death or two. So eh. yeah. Um. I, I I'm still surprised by that 11, 12 hour average though. That's it, that seems really low. It is only like a sample size of twenty on yeah. how long to beat. Uh, so you know, not the best possible metric. I, I wonder if the site existing gets users to want to submit data for every game, so they'll like go and try to get through a bunch of games as quickly as they can. Yeah. I'm curious. Because like could be a weird two... self fulfilling prophecy. The only two ways you can submit are like like a regular playthrough versus a completionist playthrough. But like there's mm -hmm. no data on okay, well were you like speeding through the game as fast as possible? Were you or, were you looking up guides? Were, were you, you doing this blind? Were you yeah. doing this blind? Were you looking up guides? Were you taking your time? Were you chatting with a friend while you're doing it and so you're constantly getting distracted and forgetting which way you were going? You know. Classic stuff. But I imagine that even if we don't finish it today, it's going to be finished this week. Mm hmm. So here we are at Granick Inn. The last. The last Shannon encounter of the game, perhaps? Question mark? Question mark? Unless she's. Unless she's Mammon. I mean. She, she does know, seem to know a lot about Mammon suddenly, and about the kings and the powers. Yeah, hmm. that's true. She'll prefer to Mammon and. Man well, as a as a boy, right? What was that? Shilf referred to Mammon as a boy, right? Shilf was a girl. Yeah, but when she talked about Mammon, she was like he, right? Yes, I believe so. She called Mammon a he him. Pretty sure. Mammon's pronouns. Do you think Mammon has pronouns in bio? Um. I wonder. You should definitely use. I I feel like that. What's the name of the spell? The soul seeking or soul searching spell? I think at least at level one it should give you pronouns. Level, level two, one, it should, give, it you should give you like, give you like their MySpace description or whatever. <laughs> he gives you their card. <laughs> here's my link. Here's my Patreon. Here's my Etsy. Here's my um. Here's my triggers. Here's <laughs> that that my... might be level three. <laughs> yeah, level three is their triggers because you can weaponize that against them. Their triggers <laughs> and their diagnoses, their allergens. Mm hmm. Well, you could use that against them, so. Yeah, exactly. You need level three for that. Mm hmm. Yeah, weaknesses. I, I feel like that falls under the weaknesses uh, profile, which I think is. Uh, no, I don't three. know what the difference between level one and level two was. Just a bigger window. Were... Just a little Maybe. same thought... information, yeah, bigger window. Levels. Something like that. Let me let me pull up the the guides. I feel like that lady with the crystal ball. She's she's been checking in on Brian and okay. like, oh, oh, those poor docs. Oh, he he got the revenge. Blue hair. Fates are strange indeed. This. I mean, this guy. Oh, I like this, this guy. guy's got neo pronouns. Look at that hair. Yeah, his name is Reur. Oh, absolutely. At least that would fit the trope, right? Gruyer. Maybe just really likes the color purple. I recall reading a poem about that in high school. High school. In high school. High school. High high school. Yeah, a some poem guy that about... had just a. Yeah, a, a guy that really liked purple. He had a really weird form of color blindness where he could only see the color purple. So everything he oh, owned was the color purple. My goodness. And is that real or is that fictionalized? No idea. It sounds could pretty be real. fictionalized to me. It, it does. It does. Bye bye bye. Okay. 
I expect you to use signals. Bells. No, that was that was it. Upstairs. That's why I talked to him yeah, twice. He, I thought there was there just be could a be a guy that's a fan of the color purple. Like, yeah, I can dye my hair colors. Let's do it. A child like you shouldn't be in a hurry to die. Was Mammon scary or what? What's going on here? Just the other day we captured another magician. But he was your dad. Got it. Well, oh, this guy. Father, so, yes. This guy says, I'll give you plenty of heroes drink if you run out. A child like you shouldn't be in a hurry to die. Oh, well, that's very nice of him yeah, that instead of like, hey, don't go outside, kid. He's like, dude, you look beat up. Please take as many as you need. Also, drink, please, please drink don't up, hurt kid. yourself. Drink up, kid. Glug, glug. Mm -hmm. Take Knock a back. sip. Take a sip. Take a sip. I already went in here. Right? No, I didn't. Hirsch. Okay, so Soul Searcher level one. Uh... Last for one to five turns, it reveals stats of a single creature. Soul Searcher level two reveals it for all creatures. Same turn, same ah, stats. Okay. So Soul Searcher mysterious level two is just an AOE. A mysterious woman accompanied by a wicked spirit came to see the king. So is that sh Shilf and Mammon? A wicked that spirit. That makes sense to me. Or Shan Shannon? Milf and Shannon? I mean... Spirits in this game are already like things that you collect to level up your magic, so yeah, yeah. it's weird that they use that terminology in Keltland. Did that guy in the pyramid didn't say anything about Mammon, right? Uh, no, they wouldn't know anything about Mammon, allegedly. Uh -oh. Assuming, assuming Spoilers. Mammon is, it's not spoiled because I don't think it's ever covered. Um, oh, you only learn from them that they opened the book, right? They read yeah. the book of Elatale and when they did, they yeah. only saw like the negative negativity and darkness and evil in the world. And that's the only thing that they could like express. Yeah. Uh, so they were sealed away for it and they reference that being the old great war. Yeah, but they didn't say like, oh yeah, and, and I created Mammon or like Mammon did this to me. Yeah. They okay. they they don't explain, yeah, at least at this point, that I recall. I don't remember exactly how the loose ends are tied up at the end of the game. But we're gonna find they, out. They may not be entirely plausible. May not be. Uh oh, I think I went into every building. I feel like there was less than usual here. Mm-hmm. Into the dungeon. This castle is fucking cool. It actually is presented very well. I'm reminded of Oh, it's some. Um, is it a castle or is it the Magitech Research Laboratory in Final Fantasy VI? Or is it the, like. I think it's Magitech Research Laboratory in VI. Lots of Mode 7, trippy, like, scrolling over stuff. Um. You know, I don't remember that. I have been there, but I do not remember much about that part. Oh man! Oh, oh a thousand yes, damage! Rocks. Oh, I'm sweating! Oh, more, more rocks, more rocks! I didn't know what to expect a winged sunfish to do, but I'm impressed. <laughs> Usually, sunfish like in the ocean are just like they just sort of float. Don't do anything. Yeah. yeah. They just there. kind of wait for food to fall into their open mouths. Basically, and they just like cruising along, like, all right, the ocean's telling me this way, I guess. Like me. Mood. Oh, Rocky's here. Oh, Rocky's oh, this... back. What up? This is Rocky, and up, this bro? time he brought a buddy. Hey, Rocky. No, no throwing, Oof. Rocky. Oh. Ouch. I got some of what is supposed to be uh, black light reactive lipstick. Ooh, is it working? Well, can you tell? Mm, no. No. Uh, I did get the like most subtle color, the purple one, mm -hmm. but it is in reality even more subtle than it appears on the website. Uh, so ah. subtle, I would perhaps say non-working. Ah, false like advertising, doesn't, Like, perhaps. doesn't do anything. Um, so it does make me wish I had gone with one of the brighter glowing ones. Mm -hmm. 
I also picked up some nail polish that has like sparkles and you can see my nails aren't sparkling. In this case that is because really. I didn't I don't have it on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one that one I do know actually works. Sorry Yo, what the, up, King Video Juice? Oh, I didn't this, hear him. This door is too big. Mm. You gotta, like, sneak in the back, or...? Mm. Oh, time to pull up my guide. No spoilers. There's a lot of walking in this episode, and we need we need assistance. Where Where's... What am I looking for? Where's my hints? Give me my hints. Mm. Oh. Wonderful. Oh. I love the musics. Oh, here we go. That's the ocean. Secrets back dip. here. Here we go. It's the handicapped right, accessible right. entrance. Ooh. Well, there we go. Nice to know that uh, the King Brannock is up on his regulations. Mm-hmm. There's a railing. Osha would be pleased with that. There's a door, but I'm gonna go get that spirit even though I super don't need to. Because I just want to We could just guys. blast straight to the end, and I kind of recommend it. My brain is remembering the final hallway. Air quotes hallway. <laughs> Heavy air quotes hallway. <laughs> it's the worst, trust me. I'm not gonna try too hard to explore every nook and cranny. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. I finally, oh, this music's good. I finally picked up a Super Nintendo. Oh. Yeah, it was wild when I was like, I, I should buy these things that I didn't have when I was younger and also want to get some games for. So, like, I bought, like, an NES and a Super Nintendo and, like, I was like, wow, now I can just buy those games, huh? Then Being can, an adult is weird. Then I can have those games. Yeah, yeah but now the about, problem is I want to buy a CRT. Ugh. Who cares about playing them? Remember yeah. when there were just CRTs littering the street, and now you can't find one for less than like a hundred bucks? Well, the, I'm the, also in a ma major metropolis. The thing that sucks is like around cleanup week, uh, mm -hmm. I can find CRTs littering the streets, but unless you go out as soon as they're available, all the cords will be clipped. Because the only thing faster than someone who wants a CRT to play video games is someone who's going to try to melt down the cord. <laughs> and, you know, probably use it for drug money. So, nah, you're like, jumping to conclusions there. Well, I'm jumping to conclusions there, but boy howdy, they are <laughs> eager to clip the cords on every television set that goes out on the curb for more than a half an hour. I mean, if that's the most use the CRT is going to see, fuck. Yeah, it just sucks because, like, I... There's, it's one they're thing, still usable. It's one thing... Oh, I, I went out. It's one thing if, like, the CRT had been sitting there for a couple days and clearly nobody wanted it. Sure, clip the cord. But, like, give people a chance. Those things still work. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, you can make a lot more money doing more ethical and fun things instead of destroying working stuff, my even if it's trash. My brother-in-law uh, had a tiny little CRT that he was getting rid of. And uh, he was like, well, I'm going to bring it over, but I think you're at work. So I'm going to, it was cleanup week Well, when he did this. So he was like, well, I'll, I'll put it out in front of your house, and then you can decide if you actually want it. And then you can bring uh -huh. it inside. And lo and behold, by the time we got home from work, like over lunch to be like, okay, I'll we'll pick it up, we'll put it back in. The cord had been clipped. Thankfully, those are replaceable. It takes a bit of ingenuity, but it can be done. Yeah, it's annoying. I mean, you'd you'd have to open it up and fix it and yeah. do some soldering. It can and, be done. Yeah, I'm sure it can be done. It's not something that I feel confident in doing. Yeah, 
and opening up a CRT is hella scary. Yes, exactly. Like, there's there's some additional complication for the fact that it's a CRT. Yeah. So, I was just like, well, I we've learned our lesson here. Don't put any electronic you want out on the curb for any length of time. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. I think it's kind of funny because Nick has talked about how there are people who live down closer to the cities who um, they come up here during cleanup week because it's like such a novelty that it's oh, like, oh yeah, yeah we're going to go up to Fargo-Moorhead and try and scope scope the curbside and see if we can find anything good. Yeah, we're willing to drive a couple hours for this. That sounds expensive, like $40 they... in gas to go try to get a free CRT that you could probably find for maybe as cheap, maybe? I don't know. I guess you can find you can find some cool stuff on the curbs. So you I can. Know. I mean, Nick Nick has found some really amazing the... stuff. He got that huge box full of magic cards and dragon magazines. Yep. Oh, that's the dragon magazines I'm impressed by. Yeah, it was I, a ton. I think I scoped through the magic cards. But... A ton of old dragon magazines, um, a ton of old, it's... like, second edition D&D stuff. That's where I got my Dark Sun box set. Oh, yeah. And there was Spelljammer, and there was, oh. um, I, I don't know. You there also was... got a Sony Trinitron. Oh, there was God. other stuff that I wish I had saved, but we ended up, mm -hmm. that was, like, just before I kind of got into that stuff. And yep. so a lot of it ended up going into the trash. And now I'm over here like, oh man, it would have been cool to have all those dragon magazines. Hindsight, I'll tell you what. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But it was also back when we were all living in apartments and like, don't want to try and we carry had, We didn't have a lot of space here. and yeah, we didn't have that much money. Now that I live in a house, I can begin accumulating. Ah, oh, yes, the basement is plentiful for storage. <laughs> we'll never run out of space down there. Ten years she says. later. <laughs> Five months later. Oh, no! Well, I can't walk door. downstairs. What happened? It's full of video games. Oh, no. Video games. It's full of shelves of old magazines. A spirit. I'll save you. But I've got, so I've got the Super Nintendo, which mm -hmm. was, it's bit, Super Nintendo is very special to me because that's the console I never had. I had an NES yeah. and then I had an N64, yeah. but I never had a Super. I had a Genesis instead of a Super Nintendo. Ah, which... I also had a Genesis. <laughs> well, she just like me for real. Just like me for real, for real. For real, for real. Uh, but hey, got like Streets of Rage two and like other bangers. You know the Sonic games, Sonic Spinball. Well, the the frustrating thing for me, and something that has like aff affected me, capital A affected me, is mm -hmm. um, because we got this stuff as sort of hand me downs. My mom really wanted to make sure that we like keep that ball rolling. So like mm -hmm. when I got the Sega Genesis as a hand me down from my stepbrother, um, yeah. she made me give away my NES. And when she bought me an N64, she made me give away the Sega Genesis. I get it. I, I get it. Well, uh, it, it sucks. It sucks. I get it. Um, her, and she, then she didn't make me do it after that because everything after that was like. Well, she had bought me the N64, and um, mm -hmm. then after that, everything I bought, I bought with my own money. Um, but, like, it sucked. Yeah. Especially because, like, so we gave the NES to this, uh, this other family that I was friends with. Uh, mm -hmm. And then later I found out a bunch of the games they just threw away. Like, uh, Castlevania, they threw away. Because yep. they were like, oh, yep. that's satanic. <laughs> it, 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 the, the game is about defeating demons. I wonder, no? Okay. Yeah, they got, they got rid of Castlevania. They got rid of Skate or Die, because it had the name, it had the word die in the name. Ah, um, uh, yeah. 
I think there were at least a couple other ones that they got rid of. I was just like, no. Give them back. <laughs> if you don't want it, give it back. Oh, well. Yeah, well. Now I'm an adult, so I can buy all my own stuff. Um, yeah. So the only game I've got for Super Nintendo now is uh, Pilot Wings. Which is very, like... Sitting here playing Pilot Wings is the only game option on my Super Nintendo is like, yeah, this mm -hmm. is what the launch was like, huh? Yep. Very, very basic game. Played interestingly, but also like, wow, this is 3D. This is 3D. Oh, yeah. Oh. They, I mean, it looks pretty oh. good, especially if you can yeah. keep in the mindset of the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Like, imagine upgrading from the NES to this. Oh, damn. Holy shit, I actually okay. dodged that. Nice. Sick, sick move. Oh, wow, they no, actually dodged none that. Hits, none hits. <laughs> wow. Oh, these fuckers. Everybody's real tired today. Oh, One. There you go. Come on, rocks. Oh, I tried to repeat it, and it didn't work. It's just luck. I think it's just luck. So I did get uh, Symphony of the Night working, mm -hmm. um, and it seems like it's gonna it will work okay. I was able Ooh. to do the free PSX boot from the disc onto a memory card, and I can like boot the PlayStation with that memory card, yeah. and then just play burned discs without having to worry about disc swapping anymore. Nice. Um, I did that with my... I said that before I said that my Armored Core burned disc was, like, kind mm -hmm. of skippy with the animations. Yeah. And when I did it using the memory card, it wasn't doing that anymore. However, mm. it wouldn't let me get past creating a save file. Hmm. But Symphony of the Night seemed to be working all right. Nice. I am not out I, I may days. have been uh, playing some Symphony of the Night. Nice. I I have been watching a lot of a specific speedrunner on YouTube Twitch uh, and been like, yeah, I can I can definitely play this. I would love to try the randomizer. So I'm trying the regular game uh, and the speedrun for that game, especially the randomizer, can be described in the complexity of the seed, which there's like a chain of events where if you get this item, you can get to these spaces. And if you get this item, you get to these spaces. And if you get one of these two items, you can get to this space. Mm -hmm. So like there's the normal game has a complexity of like 11 or something like that. Sure. And theoretically the maximum complexity is like 15 or 16. Uh, most seeds are probably going to be lower complexity because there are several like relics that can be in spots that are very easy to access when you get one or two items. Uh, so uh, n watching all of these randomizer speed runs by somebody that knows what they're doing and can do a couple of the skips let you keep your armor or the death skip whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm like oh yeah I'm going to blast through this this uh, this game real quick even though I don't remember too much and I've been playing for like I think seven-ish hours and I just got to the like second half of the game and I was like oh man this game's tough I love it <laughs> oh the game's so good I have just been using you to experiment now give me all of the magical powers that you have obtained what whoa, whoa, whoa. guilty set you up what Gu who's guilty who the, the fuck is guilty is this the hi bad guilty guy? is this the bad guy I don't think you were mentioned before, Guilty. I've guilty. never heard of Guilty. Is this Mammon? It says Guilty. Uh, it says Guilty. He dodged him. He looks like a coward. I mean, so if he's called Guilty, is that supposed to imply that he's guilty for what's been going on? Like a magic like, barrier. Oh, yeah, you're true. Is that, like, is that like, like the judge says Guilty? Is that what that means? <laughs> Uh, maybe this is maybe this is what the court sends you to if you're guilty. You go, you go face this guy. I'm seeing a shockingly not enough amount of avalanches. Yeah, yeah. Now we're yeah, talking. Yeah, <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got me. I think. 
I magic gotta, barrier. Yeah, then? absolutely, mm -hmm. magic barrier. So it just takes me a little bit to remember how to get to it. Remember where it is. Yeah, you're not using it in every battle. It just extends a lot of battles. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll drain magic. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Punch. And then we'll magic barrier. That way first. Weakness, then magic barrier for some reason. Then... Come on. Drain magic. There we go. That's what I want to see. <laughs> Brian, like digging through his pockets, like, counting on his fingers, like, which spell was that again? I only ever cast, like, four. <laughs> but I have to, I'd organize I, these so I dumb. I know all these spells, I just gotta remember where to get to them in my brain, in my mind palace. <laughs> it's like, he's, like, opening up his 90s Trapper Keeper, and just like, oh god, which folder was it? Was it the Rainbow Swirls folder or the Unicorn? God, he's, like, uh, note cards <laughs> flying everywhere. <laughs> uh, oh, crap, sorry. Guilty, give me a second, sorry. Okay. Now I can go back to doing damage spells. Uh oh. Oof. I got one damage spell. Let me take those. Let me take those. Not like the boss is healing. Yeah. Go. Come on. Come on. There it is. Yeah, hits. yeah. Three hits. That's not bad. That's pretty mm -hmm. good. And you've gotten three hits with this magic barrier. That's good. Miss. A2. Ow. I can't imagine doing these bosses any other way. Bro, let me tell you. <laughs> Maybe it just shows like how reliant I've become on this particular strategy, but my um I must have had my agility so insanely high and my health and or defense like Yeah. I recall dodging a lot more attacks and also hitting a lot more attacks. So I mean, the the... fights, and, and I was being way more offensive, and just chugging like max health, like heroes potions or dragon potions or whatever. That's true. I'm not. I'm not using very many items at all. Uh, and because like I barely have done any grinding in this game, so like, mm -hmm. yeah, that does really make the idea that it's a 12-hour game kind of strange, huh? Yeah. Like 12 hour, probably it's like a 12 hour game if you follow the guide for which elements to do. Mm hmm. Yeah, if you know what to do and know that you can pick up these specific spirits and ignore other ones, like. Because, like, at the very beginning, if I had gone hard, just like, just went for water, did not bother trying to pick up any earth because there was a little while in the beginning when we were sort of yeah, or we did earth a little bit, yeah. Um, I think that that probably would have cut at least an hour off of the playtime. Yeah. Come on, Avalanche. Oh. All right. Oh, all right. Four hits. All right. There all you right. go. Oh, and you got another turn for Avalanche. Lovely. Let's do it. Three. Oh. Three hits and a mess. Miss. No. no, no. Oh, that's bad. I don't like this. There okay. we go. Not going to do the classic love... fizzle three times. Uh, I love that you can cast a self buff and it misses. And have it miss. Have it Just, fucking miss. Oh, now that's now that's okay. balance. Now that's some magic right there. Hey, listen, it's just what like how Magic the Gathering has bad card draws sometimes, you know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes your hand is full of lance. Sometimes or hands your full of spells and no lands. 
it's important. It's an important part of the game. Mm -hmm. So a little bit organized here. Have lunch. There we go. Well, we killed guilty. So does that mean we like? I guess we're not guilty. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Um, or if we were guilty, well, now nobody's guilty. Now nobody's guilty. Everybody's free. This is how the, the system of ju ju judicial corporal punishment works in uh, Keltland, I guess. Uh, now is this the way that I came from? Let's check walk the downstairs, other way. right? I think I was walking downstairs. Oh, wait. Fuck. God damn it. Oh my god. It's happening. It's happening again. Okay. I need to see what's through the other door before I decide which direction I think I is think, correct. I think that might have been the correct direction. You think that was the right way? Maybe. Let's look over here real quick. Yep, it's the same. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, we're trying to go up because we want to get to the throne room. Hey, anybody in chat? Remember which whether we were going up or down? <laughs> anybody? Save anybody? Us. Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> you think it'd be me? I'm the SME. Oh yeah, but you're a uh, expert. You're talking to me, so, like, you're distracted. Oh, yeah. T talking, I can't do anything else while I'm talking. Well, you can do some things, but I don't expect you to remember whether I was going up or downstairs. Fair. But I do re I do expect the listeners at home to remember whether I was going up or downstairs. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oof. Oh, right. I don't even barrier. need to worry about it. I've got magic barrier on. <laughs> The boss fight reminded me how good Magic Barrier is, and how I should just have it yeah. on all the time. Magic Barrier is really strong. My god. My god. Whack. Whack. Just hit, you know, a fully armored knight with your stick. Perfect. And they're all still casting spells? Like, that's gotta be cheating. Well, I will say they're also casting spells, but they are not hitting you with their real sword. So, like, I mean, that's pretty good sportsmanship, I feel like. Well, or they're just souped up looking wizards. <laughs> they're just souped up. Used, they don't know how to use that stuff. Yeah. That one, Benton. You have got to learn a weakness before you go to Magic Barrier. Mm-hmm. You don't have to dodge. I don't have to dodge, but I... But Brian's just yeah, so yeah. cute running around. I know. Just a little 12 year old wearing like a little cloak and has a stick walking up to three fully armored knights. Just be like, hey guys, what's up? Hey guys. And they're like cutting him in half and they're like, oh, you guys are mean. I Rocks cast, fall. I cast invincibility. Now I can't be hurt. <laughs> now I cast rocks fall. <laughs> I read this about read about this in D&D &D once. <laughs> Sessions with uh, DM Brian do not last very long. <laughs> Sir, there's a monster barreling through the castle. Half of our knights have been destroyed. What? What is it? A child. It appears to be a small child. No. <laughs> okay, well, that was the correct direction. So, I'm glad about that. Ooh, a chest. Chests. That's a very inconvenient pillar, huh? So does the king have to walk out this way every time? I was like, expecting... If a guest wants to see the king? I was kind of expecting there to be more castle here, but it sure is just a lot of, like, spooky architecture. Like, just and hallways. What purpose does it serve? Just like, yes, my, my, my castle will be a throne room at the top with a <laughs> fucked up corridor for at least a half a mile. Filled with... Filled with... Deadly knights! And no bathroom in sight. 
<laughs> no bathrooms in this game. What does it mean? I mean, there's the ocean. Yeah. I think everything's been they pretty close to the ocean. ocean, or in the ocean. Ocean man. Oh. Avalanche, come on. Come on, Ava. No. Yes. Get get your misses out of the way. It still is tough for me to remember Man. where to go for these other spells after doing the whole game casting the water spell. Yeah. Oh, if you like shit. selecting your spells in this game, you're gonna love the spell casting system in Symphony of the Night. Oh, I see that. Okay, so I don't know much about it, but I one thing I do mm -hmm. remember is the spell casting system and having like an argument with it about it with a friend. <laughs> he was like, do this with the control stick. And it just like cast a spell. And I was like, but I haven't learned, like, how are you supposed to know about that? And he's like, you're uh, just supposed to figure it out. <laughs> so th there is a in-game mechanic for learning the spells, but also it's surprising how often I will just be playing the game or like jumping around in a fight and like pushing buttons and suddenly I'll just cast, cast a, spell. a spell like what the hell just happened and then you can go to your spell list if you accidentally cast a spell it adds it to your spell oh, list oh does it <laughs> yeah so like I accidentally did a couple of the like really simple spells and then accidentally did a really difficult spell nice. like what the fuck yeah he definitely made it sound like um, the only way to find spells was like by accident and I was no. like that seems dumb and bad and he was like actually it's Actually, it's really good game design. Nope. Not good game design. I was like, I don't know about that. Just use the, the tenor do drop and then drain yeah, off of whatever enemy what you run doing. into, probably. Yeah. That's what I was gonna do. I was just seeing if I had a, one further left. Ah. Uh been sitting on a pile of items and i'm I sure the been. save file for this game i think the save file for this game is actually it's massive huge. yeah it's gigantic yeah, and it's, and no it's literally reason. just like your entire in item inventory that's it yep <laughs> yeah just buff yourselves please thank you oh just a chest oh wow just a chest if, Come I mean, on, Brian, if this you can was do a it. different game, I would say it was probably a trap, but I know that, like, I fought Mimics, oh, and gosh. that's not what they do. Can I go through the door in battle? No, of course no, not. No, you can't go through a door in battle. I gotta walk slightly to the left and press the escape button. Yeah, excuse me, guys, I'm gonna walk whoa, three feet over hey, here. I'm like, oh, oh, of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, is hey, this... it's the alchemist, this? kid. This is the alchemist. I came here to rescue him, but I didn't make it in time. If you have the courage to go on, I'll help you regain your strength. Uh, what? Uh, oh. is this an inn? Oh, uh, did this kid just, like, put me to bed? <laughs> like, yeah, what? you could sleep, like, easier. use the chest as a pillow or something. This is the alchemist kid, like, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> just like, here he is. Well, apparently there's a big fight coming up. If there's a, a kid that acts as an inn and spirit light, these sound spirit like important light. things. Silver amulet, just every another of every item in the game, right? All the big ones. Oh, spirit. Oh, 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 oh. Are you uh, oh, uh, in? The spirit that you just found. Yeah, that I got. I was very excited. Uh oh. Yeah. Maybe it made it sound like I was about to miss something. Oh no, you're good. Uh, oh no, it's in. Don't get that one. That's the bad one. Oh no, Brian the spirit dies. actually resets your spirits. Oh. All the way back to one. Uh... That'd be tough. I wonder if there's a no spirit run of this game. That sounds oh, impossible. Oh, I'm sure that somebody does something. Because yeah. you could, like, just grind your I think your, even if you max out all of your stats, I still don't think there are certain enemies you can only hit with spells. Oh, uh, that's fair. 
I would take a very long time on those enemies. Are they required enemies? I am trying to remember if there's a boss that you can't hit with your staff, besides the ones um, that are coming up. I won't spoil that. Please. I think all the previous ones are like people on the ground. Yes. So far they've all just been like dudes. Dudes, dudes are like, dudes yeah, I got the gem, what up? Yeah, here I am. I'm a baddie. Mm -hmm. I'm a thief who stole a gem. Purple pillars, purple pillars. Well, there's Shannon. Oh, no. Shannon? This isn't an inn. Well, I mean, we there was just an inn just there. Right? But usually she's, like, in there. What is this? Oh, is this a cute... Was this like a like a world map of like Keltland or what is that? Kind of looks like it. Can you like go down there and check yeah, it out. Yeah, you can. Is there like a hole? Yeah, I think Ooh. that is supposed to be like. Spooky. Uh, what's going on over here? Hello again, Master Prentice. Your power is much greater than I expected. It must be because you are a true magician. This fellow challenged me to a fight, even though he's hurt, just because I told him about you. His life was in danger. He tried to stop me, although he couldn't lift a finger. Why does he trouble himself so? You can't escape this room. You will have to move forward if you want to rescue your father. You don't have a choice. Your fate and your father's room. Wait, wait, wait. Hands. Is that? Is that Barty? It is, no. Bart. Brian, how'd you find me? How did you get here? Quick, run for it. This place is a trap. That evil puppet Shannon. Uh, oh, she's the mysterious one. It. I'll tell book is much more than even I thought. Oh, ugh. Daddy, no. Well, okay, Daddy, Shannon. I'll leave. <laughs> Bye. Shannon Crush. Oh, shit, she was telling oh. the truth. You can't go out that door oh, anymore. Oh, wow. The door has been sealed. The door is sealed by some sort of force. Okay, well. Well, this is all planned by Shannon, I guess, to deliver the gems to whoever this is. Uh, and apparently, uh, Eltail Book was too much for Bart, even though he didn't have the gems already. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and also, what the fuck was guilty? Care. Why should I care about knights when my spells can do anything they can? Yo, check out this. Whoa! Room. Whoa, here's the king. Check out his style. Yo, seems... This king's got drip. Guilty. It seems Fargo and Guilty were not as powerful as their boasts. Okay, who the fuck was Guilty supposed to be? Your pathetic human magic. Okay, so he's being... He's okay, not. so she came here with the dark spirit, and mm -hmm. that was Mammon, and Mammon possessed Bages. King Bages. King Bages. You might want to cross the bridge? I'm trying to remember, but... Definitely barrier. It's probably oh, got yeah. some ranged bullshit. Yeah, they've all got some kind of ranged bullshit, don't they? Mm-hmm. That's just how it be. Whoa, that was a cool looking spell. Do you have a scythe? Yo, this, <sighs> this boss be fucking dripped out of his mind. <laughs> I can't change the camera to look at him. I remember this about this fight. I, th I thought there was a way to get the camera behind you. I guess. I guess. All right, Vinny, review them. Miss. Okay, it is Hi, just I'm like 12. A what are you doing, mystery? <laughs> <Hi>, bonk. <laughs> Push him over into the pit. Come on, Ab. <laughs> That's why they can't give you a kick attack in this game. Oh, 50? Guilty was doing more damage than that. Get out of here. God, the prophecy, the prophecy of the tree. I remember <laughs> at the very beginning when I was complaining about go. the trees, you were like, oh, well, get ready. <laughs> What, is there going to be an important fight Boss where there's fight something where the in the way? in the way. And I, I specifically it. remember this fight, yeah. <laughs> Alright, avalanche in your face. Boom, 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 boom. Well, one hit. That's not bad. 
Well, just the same old... Same old, same old. God, none? <laughs> the master of Earth. gonna be difficult. I wonder... I wonder if... Okay. It does a lot. I, I hope somebody's done a study of, like, where Brian is facing for how a spell is affected versus where the camera is located. Because if it's a camera thing, I'm going to scream. <laughs> no, it seems like it is where he's facing. Did that avalanche only drop five rocks? It didn't seem to do very many, huh? Yeah, I swear avalanches usually drop a bunch of rocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I, eight. Avalanche is doing a real bad huh. job of hitting him. Yeah. That doesn't seem like just a coincidence. Oof. Uh, let's see here. Drain some more. There we go. There we go. So adults just have a ton of MP, huh? Well, because, you know, he he only casts a couple different spells, but I can cast true. all these different ones. I can cast all of them. I still have the flexibility of youth. Mm-hmm. My bones haven't set yet. <laughs> My frontal cortex isn't fully developed yet. I'm at the best... The best age to learn a new language. Or spells. I'm in the D.A.R.E. program, and my and, and my instructor told me to not buy drugs from you. Alright, I'm going to stop trying to use Avalanche <laughs> on him. Because it's not working for some reason. I, I feel like it's a weird camera thing. Bar pillar works? We, I can try putting we've, the camera we've got over the here. Solution. No, I'm just going to do water okay. color. Yeah, it's good. Fuck it. Sure, it would be great if I could be getting Avalanche to hit him a whole bunch of times, but... Uh, mm -hmm. It just I, wasn't working out. I'd rather hit him once than none. You know... Well... I appreciate how they gave all the bosses literally one or two attacks. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't want too much variety. Might get confusing. Yeah. Confuse the kids a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. I was expecting the miss. I was waiting for bad. it. I always gotta anticipate that miss. Mm hmm. Hey, you're doing fine. That's fair, though. I might as well. Like, this is. You, you got plenty of him. If this isn't the final boss, the final boss is right, right after it, right? Yeah, probably. I thought you said that this was gonna. I mean, I shouldn't. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Maybe there's a whole nother absolute labyrinth coming up. But you were acting like this area is really complicated. I'm not gonna spoil too much. Yeah, okay. You got. You got. You got to stay focused on the fight. Yeah, Don't focused. think about the future. Think about the now. Think about the now. <laughs> think about the now. Concentrate on navigating the game. The game, Brian. This man's sucking bubbles out of the air. Where are the bubbles coming from? Why are they red? You gotta think, ask yourself the real think, questions. Brian, think, Why aren't you... <laughs> Whose blood is that? The real question is, why aren't you sucking bubbles out of the air? Has he been filling the castle with red bubbles for the last 50 years? In preparation for this moment? <laughs> How can you access those good bubbles? Get the bubbles, Brian. Brian, get the bubbles. Harness their power. Don't sleep on. He this has friend. been harnessing the power, though. I think. I think maybe Bay just heard about Brian using the red bubble and got some for himself. Ah, uh -huh, that's true. I am using a red bubble, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Sick of that uh oh. My nightmare is that I like go to use an item and the item misses. 
<laughs> just like honey hey. bread. Miss. Crack open a cold of the boys and like knock it back and you like drop it instead. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. I like, start crying on the ground like no. It's the guy, the king's just like, this is this is the kid that's been. Oh god, really? <laughs> This is the kid that beat Guilty, huh? This is the kid that beat Guilty. This is the kid that beat Sylph. Uh, Sylpha? What was her name? Uh, Nepti. There we it was go. Nepti, the water one. But what was... Regicide. What was the one that first mentioned Mammon? Shilf. Was this? Shilf, yeah. Milf, that's right. Yeah, yeah Shilf. Shilf. Shilf Gaming's first Milf. Give up. Okay, now to 300 Oh, dang. Points. Look at all the health you got. Dang. That's a lot of hit points. Let's recover some MP. Bar, 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 bar. Ooh, fancy walkway to the top of the room. I do love those fun little curvy walkways. What? Uh, I'm sure Osha doesn't love the lack of railings. My name may be Brian, and maybe I've done just a little bit of regicide today, but I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, feeling pretty good. good. I had me a couple sodas. And, uh... We're gonna see what's at the top of this here castle. Ooh, this this looks a little this bit This tension. Different. This tension with no music. Alright, we're at the top of the castle. Yeah, well there's Shannon oh. over there. Alright, Shannon. Yeah, what's up? That was a very cinematic that was a that was a hallway. That was a very Shannon cinematic a hallway. Why did they do it? Like, pointed at Brian. Yeah. What have we what are they All doing right. with this? My goodness. Yeah, what is this castle for? What took you so long? King Bages wasn't a big problem, was he? Nothing like the power held by Ma Mammon. God, just seeing Fargo in the list still just kills me. <laughs> Feel the power within you. You now have the strength to open the way to where Mammon waits. Here is the L Tale book long sought by your father. Take it and go past the stone circle. Oh, do I have it? Okay, lady, I'll listen to what you said after you literally beat up my father. Okay, what's the motivation here? Book written about the power that exceeds the spirit. Oh, the hey, power. Did it. Oh, got the book. that's right. The power that exceeds the spirit. You know, the power that exceeds the spirit. Ah. The spirit that exceeds the power? What power? The power Check of it out, it's the crystals you collected. Who Whoa, how'd they get here? I thought they were in my pocket. I still have them, right? Right? Yeah, I still have them. Well, whoa. You did it. Congratulations. And now there's another dungeon? Another dungeon. Another oh, dungeon. Oh, 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 oh The no. dungeon. Oh, the no. dungeon beyond all dungeons. You like this room? Because <laughs> we're going to be in this room for a long time. I mean, you're not going to be in this room for a long time, but I hope you like this room. Rooms like it. <sighs> okay. Whoa! Oh, oh. Shannon's your right, right? Judgment. Check out these fuckers. That's pretty cool. Yo, they look sick, dude. Okay, there's a little staircase over here. That's how doors work. All right, good job, Brian. You found non-Euclidean space. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'll say this does look cool as hell. Uh, it sure is spooky. Is it bringing you back? Yep. Taking you right Boy, back howdy. to your childhood. Oh yeah. This was the point where I was like, man, I, I'm i going to max out water so I can have max healing. I still hadn't discovered Magic Barrier at this point. Uh-huh. This would be a pretty uh. good screensaver. There's no fights. You, I, I think, I think, I think you can still get through it. I'm not, I'm not sure what the actual like runtime for this area is. I know it just felt just so boringly, terribly long. Yeah, I would. I mean, I would rather go a little bit late tonight than like only have thirty minutes of content. Like, yeah. Or like, um, 
like have the next thing be like a half and half where we finish quest 64 then like let's check out oh hey i like this i like the look of this now i i like this decor mm -hmm. can i get some of this uh, hey boss oh, we got some man oh Boy. i suddenly have a strong urge to make a vr chat world out of this we got some <laughs> leftover room assets what should we do with them what should we do? Okay. So is this just this is just a dead end. Is it? Is it? Is there no door there? Is it is it not a door? Do I go back? Um, I suppose that has been a oh god. I suppose that has been a theme of going through into rooms and then going backwards. Yeah. This background is Huge not man? a spriggin. This background does yeah, not no. look like it was made for this game. This looks like they had it lying around on a computer somewhere. Imagineer? Maybe. This looks like it was made for Super Monkey Ball. Okay, so now we've got some forest assets. I just, uh came up with this one myself. I do like the idea that they made a bunch of test areas, and we're just like, you know what? Yeah, put it in the weird, spooky we'll use it. end sequence thingy. We'll use it. Find a way to use it. Mm -hmm. These monsters are neat. Pinhead? And it's like a shrimp? Oh, the guide I'm reading does not cover this stuff. Huh. Your battery never ran into an encounter in this area. Huh. Unique. It's unique just to this one cartridge. Oh gosh. Cartridge is only slightly cursed. Yeah, it's only a little bit haunted. Mm hmm. Oh, cool. Extremely cool. I do like it. I don't really understand the point. Okay. Now we're back in bubbles. But it is a different bubbles room. Mm hmm. I think you're supposed to run into an NPC somewhere in here. But I don't know when, so. You'll see him, you'll see him. I can't decide if this is good dungeon design or bad dungeon design. I'm gonna have to think about I that one. I think weird apocalyptic magic is kind of a like dealer's choice type thing, and like being in a spooky between realms or like edge of known physical realm with a bunch of undefined stuff. Like a lot of RPGs do this, right? Like you do this yeah. in Final Fantasy VIII. Um, Six, I guess, touches on it a bit. Um, obviously, Final Fantasy, IV, like every MMO. I mean, um, just just to clarify, yeah. I think that mm -hmm. visually, it's really ah, good. Visually, visually, yes. it's yes. really good. I'm trying to think, decide like whether I think that the layout is actually a good design or not. Oh, oh the layout. Yeah. Here's the yeah, boat. It's Literally it's clear that they boat. reuse some stuff. Yeah. Um, and just like, I mean, this is fine, <sighs> but it could be shorter. Like this room. This this room is bad. They reused it, yeah. I think if they didn't reuse this room, that'd be nice. But oh, like, cut it, cut they it reused fucking it. in half and use a half at a time or something. Honestly, it's the fact that like it would be, it'd be bad enough if there were encounters here, but the fact that there are no encounters here is like, well, what's the I assume it's building tension, but I feel like you didn't need this long of a room for it. Like, I feel like people figured out what the room was about 15 to 30 seconds in, right? Yeah. It just takes a minute or two to get through, you, it feels like. You hit a point where all that tension you're building stops being built, and people yeah, start and thinking things like, is this bad design? Yeah. Or the tension starts to drain, like, oh. Please, I just want to get to the final boss fight or go to bed. You've seen it happen in real time. Mm-hmm. 
I do like the music. The game has a pretty good soundtrack. Oh, hey, it's uh, Epona. I'm waiting for you. This is the very last place where someone might come to your aid. <laughs> no one will be able to help you, so will you rest now? Yeah, sure. You got an oh, hour? I think. I think you got plenty of time. Yeah, I think so. If I am remembering what the rest of this dungeon is. I think I am. I hope. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Alright, here's literally the first village. Uh, Let me just go on the no. Hmm. I mean, I, it's spooky. It's cool and mm -hmm. it's spooky. Reusing assets like this can be good. Actually. Okay, not that door. I guess. So I guess the other big door? Yeah, that was the one that went out to the grasslands. Where Holy Plains would play normally, I assume. So we gotta go to the door to the monastery. Back up to the monastery. It so ends where it begins. Doing, Let's go. It's hard to tell the difference. Brian's like, finally, my own toilet. Uh, My own. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, damn it! Bubbles again. Well, this is the same. Okay, yep. now this one is the same. Yep. It's such a weird enemy. I love it. Pinhead. Yeah. Hey, look at that movement circle, though. Damn. I'm not going to. Damn. Think. Is that like 83 damage? What was that? Yeah, it, it hit pretty hard. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think this this color is familiar. Yeah, this looks Where oh, is here's she? Yeah, she is. Alright, Shannon. Brian, you've gotten this far. If you keep going forward, you'll find your quest. Do something with the game. <laughs> it's like, I've got my quest, it's plugged into my N64 right now. Then my job will be over too. I am a puppet made only for the purpose of leading you. I, s I went out among the people so that I might lead you. I knew nothing of the real world and its foolish people who were doomed to die. But why are humans so strong? With all of their grief, sorrow, happiness, and anger, why do they shine so brightly? The warmth of fire, the winds in the field, the miracle of water, the abundant harvests, rocks falling from the skies, killing everyone. <laughs> For all of these, they give their thanks with a prayer. <laughs> Tell me, Brian, is that what life is about? I'm a puppet, and I just don't understand. I'm not of the human spirit. Sorry to complain. If you have the book and the magic stone, this key will open the goal. Your job o the is goal. over here. Farewell. I hated that misspelling. <laughs> oh, uh, did she say? Did she say G jail? G a o l. Yeah. Yeah, jail. Uh, oh God, I have to look it up. Yeah, it's just pronounced um, jail. And that's what it means is jail. Ah, a major jail. It's like a ah. fancy way of saying Anyway, like, Shannon actually has character development. She, like, sees what humanity is and is like, wow, humanity is cool, but, like, you're very shallow. Like, can't you guys do better? And then she, like, I don't know, is just a puppet. So, like. All right, Tyler, can you, give us, you. Yeah, give us the best <laughs> mammon voice? <laughs> Good to see you. Master Brian, we've been waiting and waiting. Thanks to the curse of the magician Epona, I've been shut up in this prison for a thousand years. My wait is now over. You're the one who can set me free. Give me wings. I will be free. My time has come again. You've released me from my prison. And just to show my gratitude, I will not let you suffer. <laughs> that was nice of him. That was very, that's so Check nice. Out, thanks. Hey. I like his big. I like his big claws. Hey, thanks, Mammon. Thanks for not letting me suffer. Oh. I hate suffering. There you go. That's a cool spell. Oh, time. that's that spell does so much damage. <laughs> Seventy-four, Mammon can. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, were we playing Goldeneye for a second? Play makes a multiplayer? My, Jesus. Thinks my N64 sick. <laughs> I could taste it. <laughs> uh. How do you like rocks? Boom. 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 Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eight hits of seven each. Yeah, the fifty isn't that bad. It's Still, I think it's. I think eight is the maximum it can show. I think it does hit you more than that. Oh, interesting. Also, listen Whoa. to this anime ass music. I mean, that's it. Anime ass music that's is pretty appropriate. That sick fucking percussion. Yeah, avalanche yeah, is avalanche just is the way to go. The boss's hitbox is massive. I suppose you were saying they got a big hitbox. Yep. Well, here we go. The biggest hitbox in the game. That was only 50 damage. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, this is this is a marathon. If you can keep topped off, then this will be no problem. Uh, I recall the run through Mammon's World being so much longer, because I would not run from fights. I would attempt to fight all of them, and those fights were so damn difficult. Yep, and I literally so did I not... grinded and healed on Epona a lot. I did not do one fight there. I ran from <laughs> all of them. <laughs> well, like, if, if you have the magic barrier healing and damage skill, like, all maxed out, you're set. Yeah, I don't need to grind. I don't need levels. As as long as you don't get unlucky. But you're also sitting on an absolute wealth of items, so you should be alright. Yeah. You should only use those items and absolutely necessary. Like, if you can't get Magic Barrier to stick, and, like, you know that it'll... It, if it fails, you're dead. Like, save it. This boss has got a ton of health. Eh, not that much health. But still a ton of health. Barrier. That red wall is a pretty good one with the CRT effect. You can really see me turn completely oh, red. Oh, yeah, I haven't been watching. I've just been seeing the frame rate drop to nothing and then cry. <laughs> oh. oh, God. <laughs> uh, that is a spell that you can dodge, but. It does do a shit ton of damage, so if you if it does drop, try to run away from it. You should be able to dodge it, okay. regardless of the frame rate. Regardless of the frame rate. It, it does magic make it barrier? like one of those dreams where you can't... Like you're trying like to run away. Like you're trying to run away from something, but it's like you're running underwater, yeah. carrying a heavy rock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drain. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and use my items to do that, because like I might as well, and they don't miss. That's fair, that's fair. I mean, this is allegedly the last fight, so... Yeah. All those items I've been saving, it's time to finally use them. It's time to use them, yeah. <laughs> oh! What? What? <laughs> that was actually really fast! <laughs> I'm doing math real quick. <laughs> is it? I, I think that, that was the times. that was one of the faster bosses. Yeah, you didn't hit him that many times though. All so right. at seventy da damage average, it's around thirty three hits to kill it. I don't think you hit him thirty three times I feel like with you Avalanche. Thirty three times, but can he's you at twenty three hundred health. Can you give us that mammon voice, Varen? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, why, why am I dying? Why is this flesh decaying? Oh, oh, I, why? Am I dying? Life? I hated it. This death. Peaceful. Sleep, sleep, you little sleep, baby, baby, sleep. baby. <laughs> Mammon has been destroyed, but I'm still here. But why? Was I not bound to Mammon for eternity? Master Brian, is this your doing? Deep mm -hmm. inside me, I guess I always knew that you would be triumphant. The life force that is human is much greater than the forces of evil could ever hope to attain. Mammon was always jealous of you humans, overflowing with the power of life. I have made a decision. I want to learn more of your human ways. I am leaving Keltland in order to meet as many people as I can. Perhaps if I experience enough, I too may find my own humanity. Perhaps we will meet again, but until that time, you have my undying thanks, literally because I am an immortal puppet. Farewell, Brian. <laughs> Come
Come over, we'll have soft tacos. The end. Yeah, I remember that final fight being a lot more. <laughs> Before Brian's eyes, peace had slipped farther and farther away, and the world of Mammon emerged. Okay, it's just gonna, like, yeah, it's just Mammon, driven us by unprovoked story. jealousy, is usurping the brightness and the uniqueness of human life, but the sacredness of the life force can never belong to Mammon, and Mammon has been returned to the darkness from which it sprang. Only a few people know Keltland was saved from disaster by a young magician's apprentice. The people can now return to their peaceful daily lives. New towns rise from the ruins, completely reborn. Even those who were injured or hurt are made whole again. Once more, the people are blessed with the warmth of fire, the winds caress, cool water, and the fruits of the earth. The world will <laughs> prosper forever as long as people stay close to the four forces of nature and balance, and as long as they walk hand in hand. All I can think is, like, the fruits of the earth and, like, the animation for avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping big apples and oranges. <laughs> the fruits of the earth, you know, rocks. <laughs> That's what Brian knows. That's all Brian I knows saved the about. Day by <laughs> making rocks fall on my enemies. It's like other other people when they use earth magic, it's like growing trees and making crops, making flowers bloom, and Brian just has no imagination about it. And it's just like, uh, it's rock magic, right? It makes big rocks. Big rocks fall, right? Hey, oh, Brian. Oh, I could probably do it to the apples. He like snaps his finger and just levels an orchard. Hey, Brian, why are all your spells for hurting people? Uh, isn't that what magic is for? Yeah, I know I know magic barrier. That means I can't get hurt. And then healing myself healing is anti-hurt. Right? Uh, and Thank you, Mia, assistant producer. Thanks, Mia. Missing in action. They couldn't find her or remember her name. L. Michael Holler. Thanks, Herb. Thanks, Herb. For translating Great work it to... On translating. translating it to... English? Question mark? So this was by Imagineer, which is an American studio, right? Is it an American? Okay. Well, no, Imagineer to... Company Limited is a Japanese company, but they apparently yeah, released sense. it in the U.S. first, and they brought it to Japan later. And I guess the Japan the Japanese version had a bunch of, like, nice quality of life fixes and stuff that made it yep, like, you know, um, kind of a better game. Uh, I think spells missed less. I think the uh, Solvering boss, like one of his attacks was dropped way in power level so you can actually well, kill him without having to do crazy grinding. I'm trying to uh, remember, magic but... Magic barrier it's minimum not, lasts two turns. It's not just like the difficulty stuff. Like there was like um, oh, stuff with like how saving worked. Uh... I don't remember specifically, but literally, like, quality of life stuff that just made it feel more like a complete game. I'd have to look up a list, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm, I'm trying to find the list. Here we go. Uh, well, do you want to talk uh, about whether it was a good game? So, Quest 64, once again, uh, reminded for the, the um, understanding when this game came out, which was like a year or two into N64 being released. Yeah. Also, there weren't really many RPGs on the N64. And this is also like I believe years this... after the PlayStation came out. Yes, this was the first on the N64, right? Like the and first it... major RPG. The first yeah. major RPG on the N64. And mm -hmm. it was like a year after FF7. Yeah. Think... So think about that. Everybody is still like losing their absolute shit over FF7. And then this, the, you know, little company that wanted to make a RPG. And, and I wonder if this is anywhere near related. But Imagineer, which is a Japanese company, released this game. Like, a very, very like, simple RPG. Simple story. Simple battle system? To the U.S. markets first. Mm -hmm. Before releasing it in Europe several months later. And then Japan, like, a full year, year and a half later. Yeah, and, so, and like, clearly, like took the opportunity to make it better for Japan. Like, implement mm -hmm. things that they... Like, not just do like do balance with what they learned mm -hmm. of the balance of the game, but also, like, to implement better gameplay stuff. Yeah. So, I think that my... And you can tell there's a ton of stuff, like, that they wanted to have party members. It wasn't just mm -hmm. supposed to be Brian, because there's the... Um, 
like almost every town you go to there's a character in it that feels like is supposed to join the party uh because mm-hmm. there's the tomboy princess there's the alchemist kid yep uh i'm sure there's one or two others that i'm not remembering I love that the game had, like, unique character. Every character was unique. Like, every NPC had at least some, air quotes, character to them. Yep. Um, the, you know, they all had names. They all had somewhat interesting dialogue. Obviously, some of them were very simple. But, like, each each town also had a little story going on, which I feel like is the default for most RPGs. But, like, they definitely were following up with the Super Nintendo, which was a powerful powerful console for rpgs in japan and yes. elsewhere uh so they knew they had to follow that trend and all obviously ff7 came out music good catchy nothing crazy holy planes is still a banger battle music still good uh very simple and homey rpg i'd say for a yeah. younger audience i think you hit I... the mark I really think that it's it's absolutely one of those games where I wish they had been given another year to make it. Like, I think that they had some ambitions that they couldn't do. They just didn't have enough time, enough money, enough manpower. Um, but I, I also think it's really interesting the ways in which that shows, because usually you would expect to see in RPG, like, cutting corners with the art, or, like, with the character design, or the number of models, or something. You know, there's all uh, there's always, like, recolored sprites in games. Mm-hmm. But in this case, like, we get very unique enemies, uh, very unique few, NPCs like, up you know, until the end of the game. Copies. Yeah. So there is the, like, bat, which there's a larger version of the bat later on, which used a similar sprite, but I think also gave it larger hooks. Like, it, it yeah. Was, a difference, but it was was not just a straight up copy paste. It like resized it, changed the coloring, like actually not just a color like palette shift, and then gave it like another little model update. In so, contrast, the places they really fell down are like uh, NPCs can't move, and so like yeah. uh, all the environments felt really. I mean, that's one of the things that feels so bizarre about Shannon throughout the whole game is she's completely stationary, and she's in the exact same place in every inn. Um, and no one walks around. Brian's the only person who knows how to walk around. The environments looked pretty as like set pieces, yes. but they don't. Feel they feel really very empty. static, They're very empty. Yeah, very static. And there's definitely a lot of the game where you are wandering around very aimlessly, and you can easily get lost. Like the yeah. whole battle system thing. When you end, it turns you to where you were facing before. A lot of people didn't know that, and like didn't trust the game to know that so if you don't no, i didn't i think it says that in the book yeah i totally forgot that i, did I didn't that. trust that until like the last four hours of the game mm-hmm. uh and probably also i got lost a lot yes played through the game, especially that ending zone area where if you get into a couple too many battles you get lost and walk backwards I'm like oh this this zone i think is the same zone that i walked through earlier maybe i don't know they do that to you at least once where it's the exact same like little forest with the pink bubbles in the background so like, man, I I think the ending is a cool, cool design, and I I know other games have done it before too. Or like, oh, reality is weird here because of magic. Ooh. Um, I I like the look of the final dungeon. Um, yeah. it did feel like, oh crap, oh crap. How do we make this last a little bit longer? Um, and it it does really feel like. <sighs> they didn't have as much time to get the story where they wanted it. Like they did a pretty good job on graphics and like, obviously the balance was not great. And there were like system elements they wanted to implement and just couldn't like having multiple party members. They just, uh, probably fairly, I I would imagine like midway through the process, they were like, we're not going to get this to work in time. We just got to scrap it. Uh, use those NPCs somewhere else. I, uh, but like the the weirdness with the story is like okay, I would expect more work to be put into the story than the art in this situation, um, because yeah. Mama just sort of comes out of nowhere in the last four hours of the game. Yeah, 
Shulk's like, yeah, Mammon sent me. Thanks for giving the crystal for me. Like, wait, what? Yeah, it's like, if what, what? Mammon sent you, then what was Shannon for? Like, I thought Shannon was the one that was pulling the strings. Right? Was Shannon... Ma could... Maybe. Maybe this is what I, what you have to figure out is Shannon was starting to like the humans and not leading Brian around as much. And that's when Shannon, like, goes on the, like, well, human empires take thousands of years to build, but the human lives, like, they suck. Why are they dying yeah. so quickly? Like, Maybe that was her just like, oh man, maybe humanity is cool, and like maybe things being temporary is a is a good thing. What am I doing? Like maybe maybe that's what the player is supposed to figure out when you're talking or when you talk with Shilf and then eventually go meet Mammon. Like oh, oh maybe maybe Shannon was starting to question her role as a puppet. Which guess what? Shannon is a cool character in this game and probably the only one that has character development neat and i guess she's um, she's a cool character and has character development right. but all of it does happen within the last two dialogue boxes <laughs> um so yep. like again i think that there's something there that they like they had something they wanted to do and what they wanted to do was really cool and they just were not able to they just didn't have the the time money resources to actually get that done um, this, this was a cool platform for an RPG. They could have done a lot more with the story in the world, and they were limited and constrained by a yes. probably very restricted restrictive budget. Imagine. So, I don't think they had any other I, massive hits. I'm also just gonna say, as a play experience, it's extremely fucking boring. Like, <laughs> um, if you don't, so the the battle system is actually somewhat interesting, but once you find that that little uh, combo of magic barrier avalanche and healing two and drain magic like you have solved combat for the entire well game. and it, it also feels like if you're trying to go through the game without solving the combat like it's gonna be also oh, really slow. tedious because i can't imagine doing this being like oh yeah i'm gonna try to put my stuff into fire or like what you did as a kid trying to make your elements even like that sounds mm -hmm. way worse than solving combat um, so you would get ugh, the God. ones from each of the major cities, and then you would use them and go and get the free item that the one person in each town gave you to stock up between each dungeon. And then if I managed to make it all the way through the dungeon, I would have to go restock up on everything. So I'd have to go yeah. use each wing again and recollect the wings and then recollect those items. And yeah, it was a lot. I'm it kind sucked. of I'm kind of curious was using bad spells. to visit the like Game Boy Color one because one thing I've heard about that, because it's like the same story, mm -hmm. um, I've heard that they really take the opportunity to actually flesh out the story a little more. Um, mm -hmm. And it, like, recreates the battle system on the Game Boy, which is interesting. Oh. Uh, Brian has dialogue in it. Mm. Oops, oh, I spilled my water. Um, oh, no. So I think it'd be it'd be neat to see what that can add to it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just look up, like, a script dump of it and just read it um yeah because it seems like there's something i i feel yeah. kind of like some of the things we were coming up with were more interesting than what they did but of course mm -hmm. i would feel that way about my fan fiction yeah my fan fiction is uh, many and plenty <laughs> um so there's got to be some 64 fan fiction on ao3 right anyway uh i I actually wouldn't be too surprised if there's basically none. Yeah, fair. This wasn't that hot of an IP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's talk about what game we're going to do next. Ooh, um, so I know we were talking about uh, Symphony of the Night, mm -hmm. but Eve said, well, we were at uh, Rock 30. Eve was like, hey, if I buy an N64 game, and come on stream, will you play it? And I was like, yes, absolutely. I I, I had been kind of like, you don't even need to buy it for me. Just like tell me the game that will get you to come on stream and I'll play that one. Um, mm. So she got me uh, Shadows of the Empire, which is like, I, f I feel like it's sort of in the same range as Quest 64, where it's not exactly like the hidden gems of the N64, but it does hold a, like... It, it was, like, a childhood favorite. Would you describe Quest 64 as one of your childhood favorites? It it definitely left a mark on me. I really liked that game, but I also, I think, liked everything 
yeah. video game wise when I was like 12. Uh, so I remember, it, like, it's not a terrible game. It definitely it feels very flat compared to all of the other RPG offerings at the time. Good job, I think. Yeah. It was still enjoyable from beginning to end if you enjoyed the battle system. Yep. Gotta say that. If you did not like the battle system, the game had nothing for you. The I I the battle system is fun. The spell the spell menus are fun. The way that spells work mm -hmm. is fun. Um, mm -hmm. I wish that the elements were more balanced. But like there that's is, something that you can quibble with a, forever. There is a mod for the game that does rebalance a lot of the spells. If if may, maybe I should take a crack at it and see if that changes I, my view of the game at all. Yeah, I feel like having gone through it, there's not really enough meat there to want to there's go not. through it again with a better battle system. Yeah. Um, now, if somebody did a mod that, like, enabled party members, maybe. But, uh, so, I'm going to see if see how soon Eve is able to come on stream. Um, because I was thinking about it today, and I was like, uh, being like, oh, hey, by the way, Eve, can you come on on Wednesday? Uh, that might be kind of short notice. So, um, Wednesday, I don't know if we want to just, like, do some Symphony of the Night, if we want to plan that out for more of a, like, longer game. We probably don't want to just, like, do a one shot of it but i am burning some other i mean i've got some other n64 games here um mm -hmm. i'm burning some other playstation games that just like look interesting um mm -hmm. and i've also got the super nintendo and will possibly have a couple more games for it because i'm buying some from eve uh that aren't just pilot wings so we might do like we can talk about doing like a variety stream just like doing two hours of fucking around yeah. with some stuff, see what we got. Like, like uh, I have no idea if you have a copy of this, or I assume somebody does around there. But like, you have Link to the Past. When's the last time you played that game? Link that game still bangs. Link to the Past is one of the games that I want to buy from Eve. Yes. Um, yes. So, her her girlfriend is getting first dibs on buying these Super Nintendo games, but it didn't sound okay. like Zelda was one of the ones she wanted. So, mm -hmm. fingers crossed that I can get fingers it. Crossed. Yeah, yeah. Link to the Past is still quite a good game. And very, very easy to pick up and put down, I think. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love that game. I could be wrong. <laughs> I've, Maybe biased. It's, well, I mean, it's one of the best games. It's, it's possibly yeah. the best Zelda game. One of the couple, like, perfect video games that have been made. <laughs> think of uh, the Zelda formula. Now, if it differs from Link to the Past, then I feel like you misinterpreted something somewhere. Yeah. But also... I don't know, I don't know Breath of the Wild. We can, that's a future. That's 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 a different topic. That's the whole um, the episode of the Besties when they they go over all the Zelda games and decide which is the best Zelda game. What it comes down to is Link to the Past versus Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. And what they sort of said was that it really did come down to weapon durability because like there are aspects of Breath of the Wild that some people really dislike. But mm -hmm. there's really no aspect of Link to the Past that anyone dislikes. Mm -hmm. um, and part of it was like, okay, I mean, Link to the Past has has survived the test of, like, 25 fucking years. Or however it's long it's the, been. One of the most lively of randomizer communities as well. Um, kind of like Symphony of the Night and Pokemon and all those other fun... You know, the games that have are still infinitely replayable by default, and then you randomize stuff? Well, so, like, sort of a, well, let's come back in t after Breath of the Wild has had 25 years to mature and see mm -hmm. if it ages as well as Link to the Past does. But until oh, then, yeah. I think we gotta go with Link to the Past as being the best Zelda game. Yeah. I don't uh, mind putting age on it and saying, yeah, Link to the Past is absolutely stood up. Ocarina of Time is still interesting with a lot of the unique stuff it did. I, I think Ocarina is great. Game still. Oh no, Ocarina of Time is still a nice um, game. Like, managing, to, managing to translate Link to the Past or a Zelda game into 3D wonderful. Oh, wow. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm so glad we still have all these old video games that slap. And we have new video games. And we have new ones slap. too. It's great. Oh, it really is very good. Um, I just love Zelda games. 
Plus, I do too. Shout out to the community for being like, hey, this old game that I played a trillion times, I found a new way to play it. Here's tools to play it in the new way. And everybody's just like, oh, I can play that game another 458,000 trillion hours. Yes. But I'll, we don't have to talk about it on stream. I'll no. give you some, I'll, I'll send you the list of games that I'm hoping to, of SNES games that I'm hoping to pick up. Um, Heck yeah. And I, I have a couple SNES games. Right burned a couple. I might, I might use one of the ones, the PlayStation ones that I burned and just have that be a, a fun little surprise. Though it might not hit as much if, um, you don't have the fond memories of it that I do. We'll see. I mean, it's, it'll it's be fun. Totally fine. I I feel like we managed to make it through Quest sixty four with all of just my fond memories. I think it's it's got um, a gimmick that is well known enough that you'll mm -hmm. see it come up on the screen and be like, oh god, it's this. <laughs> I hope it's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Ah, that that would be pretty good. Um, but that <laughs> one we would probably get. Music. Uh, we would probably get copyright claimed. I, I I just thought of that. We would probably get copyright claimed. <laughs> I, I thought there was something about streaming video games and the music and them being mostly fine. But I don't well, know. I'm, I'm not well versed on Twitch streaming. Pro Skater is one of the ones that I would be worried about. That's fair. Because it did use actual licensed music that they no longer have the licenses to. Because if you look yeah. at... Um, the the remake they don't have the same songs they they lost a lot of the songs because they no no longer got Ooh. the licenses for them. Ooh, I did not know that was a thing. Ooh, yeah, it's know. got it's got some of the classic songs and then it has a bunch of new songs because they couldn't get all the old ones. There's there's some that I which would is probably wild. try if they were in there. Which, which is, is wild. Which is wild because I'm sure that a lot of those songs got uh, popularized by Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah, what the the publisher was Activision, right? Like, this is Activision mm -hmm. Blizzard we're talking about. This is Microsoft buying out Activision Blizzard we're talking about. Like, what do you mean they don't have the license? Or I should say, what do you mean they don't have the money? Licensing for the license? music is bizarre. It's yeah. it is frankly bizarre. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, um, I think that's gonna do it for the stream. Uh, so. Kind of a shorter stream tonight, but that's fine. Uh, mm -hmm. We don't have to chit chat we'll for an hour. We'll yeah, it'll what be a game. You're you're feeling? It'll be a fun little know? surprise. Uh, maybe we'll get Eva and we'll do the next N64 game, or we'll yeah. see what I'm feeling like. Um, oh yeah. But that's that'll do it for Quest 64. At the end, we did it. We beat it. We we beat the 64th Quest of Brian. Kind of a Congrats. kind of a. Um, what do you call it? An anticlimax at the end there, but <laughs> Mammon was cool. The dungeon was cool. Uh, the Mammon fight was absolutely... I remember that being just torturous. Like, I remember God. getting hit by that uh, flame wall once I'm, and mo most of my health disappearing. Like, I need to do... Holy crap. I need to do, like, a highlight of that or some, some kind of edit of that where you go, like, all right, this is a marathon, not a sprint. And then, like, Mammon dies two how, minutes later. How, how many... Count how many rocks hit Mammon. It, so at 2300 health, you're doing like 70-ish damage on average. That should be 33 hits. So if it's like, if, if Mammon dies in like 15 rocks, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> something, something, we missed something. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. Maybe there were like 14 damage numbers off screen that we missed. Maybe that's the way that my cartridge is haunted. Because all my cartridges oh. have always had some kind of haunting. Maybe this one was like, I'm going to help you kill Mammon at the very end. There's a little ghost mm. inside there. A ghost in the machine helping us out. I'm very curious. Do you have the ability to dump your saves? Uh, absolutely not. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm ending the stream. Yeah, I don't know if anyway. there's anyone viewing or if that is just me and Fern. Good night. I love you. Good night. Thanks for Good watching. Night.